through of Scratch Junior here. So you're going to download the app for Apple or Android, either from the Play Store or from the iTunes Store. And when you install it, you're going to open the app and you're going to end up on a page that says My Projects. And you will probably have a blank one because when you first install it, you're not going to have anything. So when you click on the little plus icon, it's going to load up the basic interface. Now this is it for Scratch Junior. There isn't any other complications or hidden things that we have to worry about. This is designed for younger kids. So this is for kindergartens, first, second, third graders. Uh, particularly kids who might have struggle reading or ELL kids because it's a complete graphical interface. You can add text and things like that to it, but it's designed that anyone can learn how to use it just by the imagery. So you start off with your stage, which is where your little cat lives. This is our ubiquitous scratch, scratch cat. He's everywhere when you're messing around with Scratch. And in the middle, you have our blocks, kind of like micro bits that we've been learning about in other classes. Is These are blocks that allow us to control the cat. So the yellow is just basically the getting started program so I'm going to drag my little green flag down which means that when I click my green flag in the upper right the program is going to run blue is motion so I'm going to drag some of my little blocks down and I'm going to have my cat just kind of go across the screen and to end the program I'm going to have a little red stop I right, kind of think of it as a stop sign so I'm going to run it and notice that as I run it the blocks get highlighted so it tells you where in the program it's at now you go oh, this is kind of a boring program the cat kind of goes across the screen I'm gonna go back to my blue travel and I'm gonna put in a rotation and I'm gonna drag it in the middle and notice all these ones that's the steps or how many times it's gonna run that block I'm gonna change that to 10 so now when I hit my green right, he spins and he ends up being kind of sideways. Right? So I can end up also making him grow by clicking on the pink or purple icon or shrink. And now I'm going to change how much he shrinks by when I run my program. There you went. Notice I changed it to 50. <laughs> it's not very tiny. All right. I also can add in sound, so you can add in a pop sound, which is just a classic going boop, or you can record your own. So if you're wanting to do a story where you want to narrate something to your students and have an interaction, you can record the audio, and then you'll just drag the audio block down. Okay. So we're going to test that. So I'm just going to test. This is a recording of audio. And notice where it pops up the little microphone icon. So if you wanted that block in your text, you could drag it down there. Okay. Now, let's imagine though that you wanted a little bit more of an interaction on your on your uh, program. So maybe you wanted to create an interactive book or something like that. You can add another frame or a scene. And that's over here in the right, where I can click on the plus icon here. And now I get an extra frame. Okay. and the cat comes along for the ride and we'll see how we can add something to that you can change the background by clicking on the middle icon and clicking OK right. you can even title them at the top by clicking on the ABC and say this is scene 2 okay. now let's say I wanted to add something to my scene here so I'm going to add another sprite. And they have a lot of built-in ones. So we can decide on what we want to add into. Let's see. Let's say we want to do an igloo on our beach. Okay. And now notice in scene two, I've got my igloo. And now when I click back on my cat, notice down here in my programming space, the cat. So when this igloo is highlighted, your code that you drag down is associated with that sprite. So you can have multiple codes running at the same time. So I'm going to put my cat over here by the igloo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my igloo, you know, move, move, move. All right. 
Then I'm going to have it rotate maybe five. And then I'm going to stop. Okay. Now I want my cat to do something else. So I'm going to drag my start when I click that. I'm going to have him also move, 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 move. He's going to rotate, rotate. Um, let's say 20, 20. And then I'm going to have him stop. Okay. So now I've got that code associated with my cat. This code is associated with my igloo. So now when I hit play, right now they can do things. Okay. So you can have different objects move and interact with each other on the scene and if I wanted to create something where it might want to go back notice I've got a new block now because I've added an extra scene instead of having a stop block and if I want to get rid of a block I just drag it to the edge of the screen and it goes away I can have it where I can say go to scene one and then it will jump over there and I can see my cat and then at the scene of, if I wanted to create a loop, I can do exactly the same thing, where I now notice where there's a little two there. And then now my program, when I run it, I'm going to get in a little bit of a loop here, because now scene two is going to go back to scene one, you know, so forth and so on, and things like that. Cool, so that's a quick introduction to Scratch Jr. and we'll go through a couple of the other blocks in the next little video.